What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty World War II. And after we kind of found out that uh, Modern Warfare was going to have a faster time to kill, I've been trying to go back and play a little bit of World War II, a little bit of COD 4 Remastered. Some of these games that have fast TTKs, because Black Ops 4, as we all know, is a little bit slower. So I was just trying to get back into that rhythm of dying quickly and being able to kill people quickly. And so I've just been playing some of these older games. So I hope you guys have been enjoying some of these gameplays from these older titles in the past few videos. Today I want to talk about this 100 player mode that's supposed, that is supposed to be coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now since the reveal, a lot of the developers from um, Infinity Ward and Activision have been talking about this, have been asked the same question, you know, the kind of thing that I, I believed and a lot of us out there probably believe that the 100 player mode would most likely be a Battle Royale style game. All of these developers and, and people from Activision have been asked this question and they all say they're solely focused on multiplayer and all of their modes will be focused on multiplayer. Even the 64 player plus modes is one, what one developer kind of worded it as. So these are all going to be ground war style game modes is what they're saying. Now I do find this a, a very neat idea, something different for Call of Duty. A lot of people think that they're trying to be like Battlefield. Now, while Battlefield has had some struggles over the last few years, maybe they're trying to capitalize on that player base that is kind of just disgusted with what Battlefield has done. And if most of you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know I've played every COD title, every Battlefield title since the first one ever created for either one of those titles. So I'm a big fan of both. And I do think that they could get some of the Battlefield player base definitely interested in playing Call of Duty with these larger modes, especially with the no kill streak looping. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a video about that a few days ago. I'll pop it up in the top corner right now and you can check that out. But I think that they are trying to get uh, a lot of people interested in this game, no matter what kind of FPS fan you are. No matter if you like faster paced gameplay, larger scale gameplay, they're trying to get all of these different players involved within modern warfare especially with the more kind of realism style thing they're going for now i think it, it's probably going to upset some fast-paced cod fans it may not sit well with some battlefield fans the way the game plays out but i think overall so far what we've heard a lot of people are excited for now the one thing that i'm not sure about is all the different modes we have player base wise we're going to have 2v2 i'm sure we're going to have 5v5 because that's what the call of Duty pro league is I'm not sure if Team Deathmatch is going to be 6v6 like it is in Black Ops 4. Then, of course, we're going to have 10v10, 20v20, and then 64 player plus, you know, all the way up to 100. Now, that's a lot of different modes player base wise, and then you include all of the different game modes. Things like Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy and Domination are always your most popular game modes. And then I'm sure there are going to be other game modes in the game as well. And as you guys know, most of the time in older COD titles, a lot of those other game modes were not really played. You would go in and there would hardly be, you know, some of the older games, you can see the percentage of players in those modes. Like your top two or three game modes that everybody plays would have the majority of the player base in it. And some of those smaller game modes would have like 2% or 1% of the player base in it. So with all of these game modes and all of these modes with larger scale, you know, or, or different types of the amount of players could be in them, do you think that this will cause an issue where it's just spread it out way too thin within the game and there's not a lot of people playing a particular mode you know, like they have in past titles? The only issue that I really see is I hope they're not trying to just stuff the game with everything they can think of and kind of see what happens and see what works and then start dropping some game modes or adding some other game modes. I don't really like when games do that, but a lot of games have done that in, in, in the past and, and, and they do it right now. They just stuff everything they can into it and see what works for the community. Hopefully these new big modes will bring in some new players from like the Battlefield franchise. I think that's what Call of Duty is trying to go for and kind of just bring everybody from all different type games into playing Modern Warfare. But leave me a comment and let me know what you think about these larger game modes. Uh, do you think this will be something that you're going to be interested in playing? Do you think they will run well? Just kind of give me your comment and your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, guys, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.